The last piece to the puzzle with all of these different aspects of our body are our faces. I looked this up, I had to. Did you know that there are 42 muscles in your face alone? And that does not include your neck. Your neck actually has 26 muscles. That's 68 muscles that we're responsible for. 68 muscles that can convey tension, 68 muscles that can convey joy, 68 muscles that can convey anxiety. It's our job to get those muscles to relax. So I'm gonna tell you what I look for when I actually first show up with a client. We talked through this whole thing about anxiety and building confidence and building trust. But there's kind of a hidden secret in there. I'm observing the entire time to see these three aspects of my client's face. First of all, I wanna see their jawline. Do they have a jawline that is going to look good if I actually put them to the side? Do they have a jawline that I shouldn't be shooting from below? Do they have a jawline that is going to affect the way that a photograph looks in different angles? There are some people who photograph like a model from the side, but when you look at them straight on, it just doesn't give you the same effect. Find some photographs that you have that are like that. Here's a couple of examples of a, a person who has an amazing jawline for a profile photo versus having one where they actually just don't look as great straight on. And here's the thing, it's your job to know and to recognize what looks great and what doesn't. And finding that for your client is gonna make you a better photographer. I'm not saying that you only photograph from the side, but what I am saying is that you can actually utilize different kinds of poses with someone with a jawline like that. Okay, the second thing that I look for in a face are the eyes. Your eyes can actually ruin a photograph. When you see the whites of somebody's eyes more than you see the irises, we don't recognize why, but we don't like that photograph as much. I also look for the size and the shape of their eyes. None of us are perfectly symmetrical, but the beauty in photography is with a small change in the angle of what I'm photographing, I can make one eye look smaller and one eye look bigger. One thing about eyes that I'm gonna say, that again, all of the rules of photography can be broken. You guys can do anything and everything because that's the beauty in photos. But when I'm trying to convey something, I wanna make sure that I can see all of someone's eye. What I mean by that is not the completeness of their eye, but if I turn to the side, you should not see your nose traveling over the side of your face. Because what that does is it takes away the portion of the eye that conveys the emotion. So we've got eyes, we've got the jawline. The third and final portion that I look for during that pre-conversation when we're talking about kids, we're talking about marriage, we're talking about the hobbies that make the seniors so excited about their lives. I'm looking for their real smile. It's so hard for somebody to get in front of a camera and to actually smile genuinely if they're not used to it. It's daunting, it's anxiety ridden, and a lot of times people think, I have a camera smile versus I have a real smile. Talking through the things that people love are gonna show you exactly what they look like when they're actually giggling, exactly when they look like when they're joyful, exactly what they look like when they are happy and filled with joy. That's what I wanna see before we get any photographs in the beginning. I wanna know what that does to their face. Is there a wrinkle in the nose? Does one side of their mouth go up further than the other? Is that, are those little crow's feet that people are so anxious about, the smile lines, do they come out because they're just can't help it? They can't help but be that happy. We want to look for those kind of smiles in our precursor trust building, anxiety getting rid of conversations in the beginning. Your smile, your eyes, and the shape of a jawline make all the difference when you can actually evaluate those before a session. Quick summary of this section. We talked a little bit about your hands, your arms, your legs, your hips, even how your feet and your face can affect a photograph. Here's the thing though, I don't want you to go out onto a shoot and to be thinking about 
your hands, your feet, your hips, your face. It should start to come innately. But what that takes, which we've talked about before, is practice. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you a photograph, give you about 15 seconds. You're gonna try and figure out what you would do differently. Then I'm gonna show you how I changed it. Here we go. This photograph didn't have any connection to begin with. By getting their bodies closer together, I was able to actually form more triangles, which sounds counterintuitive, but it's not. The more that they're together, the more that I can actually make that connection and that genuine interaction that goes along with it. Here's the second one. You can see that in that photograph, her hands were showing and they were just really not working. So being able to move the hands to one position so that we actually can focus more on her face and what's going on makes it a better photograph. All right, here's your last and final one. You guys can see that in this photograph, it was all about the eyes. I wanted to make sure that her eyes were really coming through. So moving and changing up where we were at and how she was interacting with the things around her made a huge difference. Now it's your turn. Go out, spend the next day or two looking at old photographs that you've taken. Find those photographs like we talked about at the beginning of this segment. Find those photographs that you love. Find the photographs that you're not quite sure why you don't love them. You should love them, but you don't. Do this for each and every one of them. Practice makes you better out in the field. But if we don't take the time to reflect on this, we're not gonna be able to put it together for the final.